So hello guys, so this is a, a quick demo about uh, the ATU I made uh, on, you can find some detail on my website about uh, for the hand-fed antenna. Uh, as I said in my, uh, in a, another presentation that I noticed that uh, using for hand-fed or AFHW uh, antenna with uh, a standard uh, 149 or 164 uh, transformer it's working quite well i have some good swr and so on nothing to to say nothing much to say about that but the the, the, the main issue was uh, i have some loss uh, during transmit so i put some detail in my website so we would find a, a, a table where i explain how i make my measurement how, how i check the output power according with a standard uh, 149 uh, transformer using ferrite on uh, the losses uh, I can have uh, according with that. So, according with uh, the performance of the NFED antenna, I've decided to, to move with another project on uh, to, to make uh, a thick, I don't know if the pronunciation is good, uh, the thick uh, antenna tuner. This is a resonant uh, LC circuit on uh, using air core transformer, not ferrite. On uh, I make some measurement, obviously the, the same measurement according with this transformer, and I notice that the, the performance and the losses are almost nil. I have uh, the, the power you you input, the power input you have in your transformer on the power, power output to the antenna, it's uh, mostly identical. I have uh, less than 0 0.1 dB of losses. So according with the description that you can find in my website, you can tune the, the antenna the tuner with a different manner, automatic or manual. So I'm going to show you now the, the manual way or to tune the, the tuner. So it's quite simple. So the, the tuner is located in my attic. So it's located in my attic on uh, to power up the, the tuner. I have a remote on the remote plug in my uh, attic and I can uh, on and off the, the tuner from uh, with this uh, little uh, remote. So uh, I'm going so I'm going to use uh, my SDR tra transmitter. This is a homemade one. So provide me about a one to two watt class A am amplifier with of of course uh, LPF and so on. And I'm using a, a tiny uh, uh, tube amplifier in order to have about a ten watt. That's more than enough uh, with ten watt to tune your, your antenna. The, the, the main issue with uh, the, this design, this is the, the, the motor I'm using. So I'm using a, a remote control, you know, a servo. I think the best choice will be is to use a stepper motor, a proper stepper motor, like the NEMA motor. But one day, may, maybe I'm going to revert my design on to, to make, uh, to, to build this, uh, this antenna turner with a stepper motor. So, to tune, in fact, it's quite simple. In one in uh, one side, you have the antenna to tuner located in the attic, in my home attic. And of course, the the antenna is going outside to a pole about a t about ten or eleven meters high. So the the pole, the, the antenna line is about uh, twenty three meters long, with um, induc inductance uh, load to access uh, the eighty meters band. So with this antenna, with and 23 meters long, I can access to the 80, 40, 30, and 20 meters band with very, very good performance. I, I did a lot of extensive tests, uh, mostly on FT8, and I can tell you the performance is day and night compared to my uh, previous design, <coughs> compared to the 149 transformer using a uh, ferrite core. So. I have a web interface because the tuner you can access the tuner with uh, through the your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to on the tuner first. I'm going to press so the remote control. I have uh, of course a, a web browser here. So here yeah, the web browser. I start the web browser on here. You notice this is the antenna tuner web interface here and here this is the SWR because also I have a Wi-Fi SWR I 
something I will show you later so I can in the same screen with a web browser I can access my SWR on my antenna tune so here to move the servo is quite simple you have a slider here you can move yeah your servo here you can add some preset position for your your servo on according to your pr preset you can uh, put in the web design uh, all the different uh, band you can use so you move the slider according with the background noise it's very easy it's like a magnetic loop to tune it so I don't know if in the video you can hear the noise yeah it's more noisy you see it's more noisy it's up you press a tune it's about two okay move you can move the up oh, the tuning is perfect 109 you disconnect the servo with the web interface that's it the the tuning is done and you have a perfect tuning with the, the antenna so I'm going to reduce the sound so it's quite simple in fact you can refresh of course the, the web browser on the antenna tuner now I press here to disconnect the antenna tuner that's it you are done the, the antenna is tuned so you see it's very simple I will show you after with another video the automatic tuning to be honest I'm not so sure this is uh, useful because the tuning will take about 15 seconds and you notice that it take maybe less than 50 seconds manually so I'm not so sure it will worth it will worth the effort, but anyway, you have you can find on my website all the details regarding the automatic tuning or manual tuning. So at this point, I have uh, the antenna is tuned. The SWR. I will show you. We're going to find the frequency without nobody. The tune one zero one zero seven. Here you have the SWR. There is no SWR, the SWR is perfect. So, as I said in uh, the, the video to introduce this, this uh, video, you, with this uh, tuner, you can, with a 23 meters long antenna with a 100 uh, micro Henry call to access the 80 meters band, you can access the 80 meters, 40, 30, and 20 meters band with a perfect SWR on with a antenna performance very very good uh, as I said I make a lot of tests mostly transmit because uh, when the, the pre with the end fed antenna using the 149 uh, uh, ferret core uh, I didn't have any problem on RX for receive uh, the, the main issue was during transmit I noticed there is a, a gap between the 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 uh, the report the, the 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 receive station give me on the report i give to the receive station there is a big gap now the gap is almost the same so when uh, uh, um, a remote station give me a minus 10 mostly i am minus 13 to minus 9. before it was a uh, mostly the I, I can give a minus 10 to a uh, 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 a station on the other station give give me some time most of the time minus 20 so there is something wrong definitely there is something wrong and with this antenna tuner uh, the performance you will notice immediately the performance are better so that's it for for tonight thank you for watching me so i'm going on qrt I'm going to have my dinner now so this is foxtrot 5 november papa Vicor going on qrt thank you very much bye bye